Two hydraulic cylinders are used to control the position of the robotic arm A, B, C. Knowing that the control rods attached at A and D have a 20 mm diameter and happen to be parallel in the position shown, determine the average normal stress in part A member A, E, in part B member D, G. So we need to find the normal stresses in this member and this member. Okay, let me draw a free body diagram for this. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Also, mark the like button, comment, and share our video, and you get 10 years of good luck. Try it, it works. Alright, without any further ado, let's begin. Doing that, I have this one. So, here's the free body diagram for it. And we asked to find the normal stresses in this member. Oh my goodness. In this member, in this member knowing that they are parallel to each other, okay? All right, so draw a free body diagram for it. I have this one. So you have AE, uh, at B you have a pin joint, so you have the forces in the X direction and the Y direction, 800 newtons down at C, okay? All right, uh, to find the forces in AE, there's two ways. Let's see, you, uh, you have three equations to use, summation about the X axis, summation about the Y axis, and the moment. So in this case, we use the moment. So let's take a moment about B because it eliminates this and this. So I have only this unknown. So doing that, I have negative 4, 5. So uh, let me go back here real quick. So for this one, uh, you are given 400 mm vertical and 300 mm vertical, so the ratio is 3, 4, so you know that this should be 500 mm using the Pythagorean pi pi theorem. Okay, so let's move this away. Now let's go back to our problem. So the moment about this point, so I have this force now, which is negative 4 over 5 F AE times the distance from here to here is 150 mm. And then plus uh, 800 times the distance from here to here is 600, okay? So because this one is down, so I assume clockwise is positive, so that's why I have negative down force for this one and positive, uh, up, uh, positive for a moment for this one because it's clockwise and this is counterclockwise. Then set this expression equal zero, then solve for every I got uh, 4,000 newtons. All right, what do we do next? Now we can find the normal stress in AE because we know the force AE and we are also given the normal stress of the uh, diameter of the, the hydraulic cylinder. So the normal stress is equal to the force divided by the area. So I have the force of 4,000, which I just found, divided by the area of this one is a cylinder. So I have pi over four times the rate, the diameter, which is 20 squared. Uh, put this in calculator, I'll get 12.73 megapascal, and that is the normal stress in member AE, which is this member. Now, what about DEG? So, uh, same process, find the normal stress, uh, find the force in this one, and then we apply the same thing. So, it's a little bit tricky here. Uh, let me show you the whole process, okay? So, first, you need to find, let me go back up here a little bit. So because this and this attached as a member. So when I draw a free body diagram for it, I have a force at B and that's of course in X and Y direction. You can uh, make it uh, just one single force. It's up to you. Okay, in that 4DG, which is we have a force, but this one is just a solid member, okay? And a force acting at B because this is we have a pin joint right here. All right, now let's uh, find the summation about x axis. So, using the reverse free body diagram, we know the force in this member, we know this, uh, we know the y direction. So, let's sum of f of x, sum all the axis, sum all the forces in the x direction. So, I have bx negative bx because I'm assume to the right is positive, negative bx minus so. F, uh, A, F A E is 4,000 minus 4,000 times 3 over 5 
equal zero okay so there's two ways you can use the ratio or you can use the angle it's up to you but I like to use the ratio because it's simpler alright so set this expression equal zero and then you solve for bx I got negative 2400 newtons now find the forces in the y direction doing the same thing I have by positive by minus and um, 4000 times 4 over 5 minus 800 and set it equal to zero then I've got by equals 4000 newtons all right now back to this one so I know this four I know this four now what this angle this angle is equal to so I know so this angle is also the same as this angle I don't know if you can see it because I draw it very small okay so this angle is the same as this angle because you have two parallel lines okay so this angle is equal to tangent of 4 over 3 opposite over adjacent tangent of 4 over 3 and I got the angle of 53.13 degrees okay now I extend this member this force that is parallel to this member and then draw a, a perpendicular line to this member so at uh, this angle alpha is equal to 90 degrees minus this angle which I got 36.87 degrees okay for alpha for this angle now the reason the reason why I need to find the angle for this one because I need to find the the normal force in member DG but uh, you cannot use um, I think you could use the X and Y components but it's gonna be lengthy and tedious so uh, what I'm going to do is to use the moment and how to take the moment if you take the moment but you want to use the X and Y components you also have to find the X and Y component my my goal is to find the perpendicular distance from this member to this force so that is also another way of finding the moment okay so I can get this force directly and finding the perpendicular distance is easier than use than finding uh, the distance from this line to here and from here to here if you take any if you take a moment about any point here so it's up to you it's your choice but uh, if you follow me I will I will use the distance perpendicular distance from BF to DG okay all right back to the point back to the problem so I got this angle so cosine of 36 is equal to uh, cosine of alpha is equal to x over 200 mm where did I get 200 mm so f and g remember that so back to the problem so the distance from here to here so I have this one like that it should be like that okay so this is the angle alpha this is the angle data the distance from f to g is 200 mm so that's where I that's why I had 200 mm from f to g okay back to this one f f to g I have 200 so using the trigonometry cosine I got x equal 160 mm okay now I know the distance now I can take the moment about f so the moment about f is equal to this this component by uh, assume clockwise positive so this one pointing to the left so I have negative by no negative negative bx my bad so negative bx time the distance from here to here is 400 mm okay and bx is uh, negative 2400 okay then for by it counterclockwise so minus 4000 times the distance from f to b is the perpendicular distance from f to b is 300 so I have 4,000 times 300 plus FDG times the perpendicular distance from here to here which is 160 uh, uh, times 160 which is the distance we just found right and set them equal to zero then solve for FDG I got 1500 newtons and it is compressive no compressive force now since we know the uh, normal force we can a uh, normal force we can find the normal stress so normal stress equals to normal force divided by the area I look into the formula I got and the stress of normal stress of 4.77 megapascal so this is your final solution so this is your final solution eventually
That's it. If you find our video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.